What's up guys, I am Famous Dude, and here are 8 video games that even non-gamers will want to play. It sounds strange, but if you don't like video games, there's never been a better time to play video games. That's because game makers have finally figured out that video games can appeal to all different kinds of people. So they've started to make different kinds of games. If you're not a gamer, but you've wondered what all the fuss is about, consider trying one of these titles on this list. Chances are you'll be glad you did. So for our first game, it's called Life is Strange. It's available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Windows. Adventure games are great for non-gamers because their primary focus is not to prove your mettle by jumping over pits, shooting zombies, or defeating dragons. Instead, like movies or TV shows, adventure games are more interested in telling a story. The story in Life is Strange is a good one. You play as Max Caulfield, an artistic high school girl who discovers she can rewind time. While it sounds like the start of a crazy sci-fi adventure, you mostly use your ability to try out different actions and conversation paths as you go through your fairly typical adolescent life. The characters are interesting and there are hints of an impending catastrophe. How it plays out depends on your choices. Our second game is called Mountain. It's available on PC, iOS, Android, and Amazon devices. More a piece of art than a game, Mountain is quite unlike anything else on the market. It's less a game that you play than something you check in on periodically. On screen is a mountain, floating in space, slowly rotating. Occasionally text appears, commenting on the weather or making vague statements like, I've had dreams about this day of days. The weather changes, day turns to night, and a giant commonplace item crashes into the side of a mountain. You can zoom in and out, shuffle the items around, and rotate the mountain at will. But that's about it. It's a slow, meditative experience and worth checking out if you enjoy thoughtful, artistic experiences that resist labels. For game number three, it's called Gone Home, available only on PC. This game controls like a first person shooter, but you won't find any guns here. You play as a young woman whose family has moved while she spent a year traveling through Europe. You arrive at the new house to find no one home, so you give yourself a tour of the place. By exploring the house room by room, you find out that your family has been up to since you've been gone, including your expiring novelist father and your teenage sister whose journal entries are touchingly personal. It's less a game than it is an interactive narrative but it's so good that you might not even notice. For game number four, it's called Valiant Hearts The Great War. It is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Windows, iOS, and Android. Thousands of video games take place during wartime, but most of them put a gun in your hands and ask you to kill as many enemies as possible. That's not the kind of story that Valiant Hearts wants to tell. This adventure game drops in on the lives of four ordinary people who have been deeply affected by World War I. The puzzle that makes up the gameplay sections have you do things like perform surgery as a medic and dig trenches as a soldier. Between puzzles, you explore the world and end up learning a lot about the part of history, which is a pretty rare thing in video games. Game number 5 is called Monopoly Family Fun Pack, available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If story isn't your thing, a great entry point to the world of video games is the digital version of a board game that your family is familiar with. Monopoly Family Fun Pack bundles together three different takes on the classic game of ruthless real estate development. Here you can play Monopoly just how you remember it, or you can branch out and try a number of different modes. One is a fast mode, for when you don't have a four hour block of time required for a standard playthrough of the board game. Another lets you create your own board, renaming streets, and even customizing the rules. Coming in at number six is called 80 Days. It's available on iOS, Android, and Amazon devices. It built as an interactive adventure, you have to navigate the globe in 80 days. You pick which cities to visit and how to book your travel, whether on an airship, horseback, or hydrofoil. Along the way, you'll meet memorable characters and make plenty of good and bad decisions. It's basically a modern, choose-your-own-adventure story. If it sounds like fun, prepare to read. The developers say this game has a 500,000 word script, which is about, I don't know, maybe 400,000 more words than your average novel. Coming in at number 7, it is called Papers, Please, available on PC, iOS, and PS Vita. On the face of it, Papers, Please sounds about as fun as waiting at the DMV. You play as a border control officer in a fictional dystopian country. Your job is to assess whether visitors to the country should be allowed in or sent packing. You do that by going through documents like their passports and visas and subjecting them to degrading security scans. It sounds like drudgery, but it's actually a lot of fun, and it makes you think deeply about real-world issues like immigration, politics, and who's worthy of special treatment and why. Papers, Please is a rare thing, a game with something to say. Coming in at number 8 is called Monument Valley, available on iOS and Android. Have you ever looked at the impossible architecture of an M.C. Escher painting and wondered what it would be like to explore it? 
That's the unlikely premises of Monument Valley, a jaw-dropping beautiful game full of pastel colors and tricky exploration. But don't worry, it's not too challenging. A full playthrough only lasts a couple of hours, but it'll stay in your mind much longer than that. So there you have it. There's eight video games that even non-gamers will want to play. So if you have a friend or family member, pop one of these video games in front of them and see what they think of it. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment below and let us know your suggestions for the next video.